Thanks for joining me guys for another video beer review. Taking a look at a beer from Al Goods Brewery out of Cambridge. And this is a bottle of their Warrior. It is a best bitter coming in at a nice modest 5.5% ABV in a 500ml bottle. Picked this up out of my travels when I was uh, kicking back in Norfolk for a few days. So let's give it a whirl. Plain black cap on the top. And it, it, I mean, it says it says on the back about uh, being, you know, fiercely independent still after all the years, and you know, fair play to them in this day and age where it's so easy to just take take the check and be gobbled up, I guess. Especially in their, their neck of the woods when they've literally got the mighty Green King literally just down the road from them. So yeah, fair play to them. Okay, beer in the glass then. Yeah, nice amber pour. Bit of carbonation kicking up on a two finger, slightly off white head. Yeah, it smells, it just uses traditional malty, toffee, fruity. All the characteristics of a decent best bitter with just a, a little bit more of an ABV to it. Cheers. Yeah, lovely. It's very smooth, multi sort of biscuitiness to it. Good sweetness, toffee, fruit, everything you want in the best bitter. That's a cracking job. I have had a few beers before from this stable. I know they they were the the brewery behind the Jubilee Ale for a late Majesty the Queen out of m &S. I did have a bottle of that, I never reviewed it, but it was, was alright. This is fantastic though, it's the best bitter. Yeah, a nice, a nice combo of fruit, malt and toffee. Best of both worlds really. Some some best bitters can be a bit too much too much fruit forward for me. I like it where it's dialed down, you get more malt and toffee and you get it in this. Yeah, it's a it's a decent best bitter, I can't complain about that. Um L Goods out of Cambridge, their warrior. Best bitter, five point five. Lovely stuff. So my next one. Cheers.